How we doing? 96. We woke up feeling a little bit under the weather. Temp I've taken my temperature twice now. It's been in 96. It went down. So yeah, I actually have very exciting news for you guys in the end of this video. I'm gonna wait until after I get done with the gym. A lot of you have probably already heard it, but hey, this is one of the biggest announcements in my career. In my career, I tell you. Yeah, so today, I'm, pr I'm probably just gonna go to the gym. You guys were vibing with the mic'd up workout last time, the mic'd up leg day. We're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna hit a push day. I'll, I'll, I'll bring the mic. Hey, if you, if you guys keep liking this, I might have to upgrade the mic. Man, this is broke, so we'll see. I'm about to run to the mall, my mom. Bye mom, bye mom, bye mom, bye mom, bye mom. We're gonna go pick up Queen Bozo. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick up my sister and kiss my sister. That's disgusting. <laughs> Have a great day, Bozos. Yeah, so we're about to head to the mall. I need to try to find this specific type of shirt that I have. Yo, it just like, it fits perfectly. And I got it, I got it like last year and I can't, like I can't find them anywhere. So we're going to the mall. We're, we're determined and we're gonna find these shirts. But first, we have to go pick up the Queen. Hey, we'll catch you when we get there, boy. It says... We have, we have picked up sis. No, sis has picked you up. We... And she just... <laughs> she just ran over a garbage can. You're not gonna pick it up? No, I'm gonna bleed it. My life is in danger every single time I drive there, so I don't feel good at all. Oh, and another thing. Look at my forehead, man. Look at look at my forehead. I, I think I did it to myself because I popped a pimple on my forehead and then it started bleeding and it got like all over my forehead. Now I have a bunch of pimples where I popped the pimple. Don't pop your pimples. That's the moral of the story. If we don't pick up these shirts, I'm gonna be highly depressed, highly demotivated, and highly ready to give up. I'll let you know if we pick up the shirts and then we'll be on to our next adventure. We found the shirts. The Slim Fit Blacks. And I bought Sis a coffee. No, you didn't. I bought it. And I drink it. Yeah, I finally found the shirts. I've been looking for these. I've been looking for these forever. This is gonna be one of my new workout shirts. Maybe it'll make my arms look a little bit less small. We're gonna head home. If she's, she's not coming to the gym with me, Slim Shady can't come to the gym with me today, so I don't even know. Solo push session to show you guys how I work my upper body. Maybe I'll show you guys um like my glutes or something too. Like in the- You can't say that and then not show it to them. I keep asking for your glutes. You guys aren't getting the glute spread for free. I might have to make an OnlyFans. I got the pre-workout bacon, egg, and cheese. And we're ready. We're ready to train. It's about 12 o'clock right now, so we're running a little bit late. I'm actually feeling a little bit better right now. I'm not gonna jinx anything, but I'm feeling a little bit better. This session might not go as bad as I planned. We'll see you when we when we hit the pre-workout and we're on the way to the gym. You guys can't even see. You guys can't even see. We have to say goodbye to sis. I'm only going to Rochester for a day. She's going away forever. You guys might not see her ever again. Ever again. Because I'm gonna break up with her. I love you. She's gone. Boys already know. We got the gorilla mode and the healing mix. We're about to take some liquids to the face and we're about to go hit a push day, my boys. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not even gonna hold you. So, hey, let's go see how we do. We have arrived. Dog. I'm ready. Let's go in the gym. Let's get mic'd up. Yo, so we're mic'd up. I warmed up with the 40s. I'm scared. There's tons of people in here. There's someone right beside me. And I'm talking like an idiot. Starting off the workout with some flat dumbbell bench press. We're probably gonna boost up the 80s. I'm just gonna fill out the 70s real quick. Oh yeah, we're feeling good, we're feeling good. All right, we're gonna try to touch the 80s. I really haven't repped out 80s yet, so you cannot be scared of the weight or else you're gonna be small like me. Let's just say these 80s are not about to be light. Enough talking, Baxter. We'll go 10 to 12, we'll go 10 to 12. One more, one more, one more. Oh, you know what? That wasn't bad. Do we count that last one as a rep? I don't know. I got nine and three quarters and a half. We're not doing the 80s again. Last session, we got 75 for 12, 11, and then nine. I'm working, I'm working in like a 10 to 12 rep range. Once I get a set to like 12 or I beat 12, then I would up the weight. So for that one, I'll try to be 80 for 10 for my first set next time. So, so it's pretty much just trying to beat the numbers you had on your sets from last session. Now we'll move back down to 75s, try to get 12, because I got 75 for 11 on my second set last time. We're not performing bad. We're not performing bad at all. For these sets, I usually like to give myself a very long rest period, like three to five minutes, just so I can give my maximum effort into my next set. You guys like these pants though? Yo, Michael, I know you're watching this. I wear these pants every single day, bro. All right, enough talking. Time to get to this weight. We got the 75s rolling out. Hopefully this doesn't go too bad. We don't know until we try, right? Come on, Baxter, come on. I love it. One more. Yeah, no. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yeah, no shot. I got 11 again. So this will happen with you guys too. There's going to be some weeks where you don't actually progress your, your reps away every single session. Next session, I'll, I'll be able to get that 12th rep. I'm going to stay with the 75s. I got nine last time. I'm about to get 10 or 11. Hopefully. They were running chest, shoulders, and actually biceps. Usually with a push day, you do chest, shoulders, triceps. I feel like at the end of my workout, I always have biceps and triceps, and they're just burned out. Like, say, because you're doing all these pushing motions, they're, move, they're working the triceps, and then you try to do triceps after all those pushes. Kind of hard. We're flip-flopping. We're flip-flopping. How you like to fit, though, fellas? Pump cover's not coming off yet. I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't feel confident enough. You know what I'm saying? Bro, and we're still recording. We're on a roll today. Now we'll try to beat 75 for nine, baby. Pray for me, boys. This one's going to be hard. I need a haircut. Like, shut up, boy. Get up, yes. And that's another rep increase, boys. Easy shmoney. Easy shmoney. Doing Smith Machine this time, mainly because the main shoulder press is in the middle of everyone. So we're gonna rock with Smith Machine today. I haven't done Smith Machine shoulder press in a minute. All right, we'll go 10 to 12, 135. <sighs> 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 Get up. All right, we got 12. That actually felt very swole. So this is a big tip I have for you guys. I'm gonna do 135 for like every single one of these sets. I got 12 my first time. If you can match 12, like if you can get 12 again, you probably didn't push yourself hard enough on the first set. So when I do these, I'll probably get like 12, 11, and then 10. Maybe I go 12, 11, 11. If you can get 12 on every single one, you're just not pushing yourself hard enough. If you're ever doing the same weight and you're like the second set, you're like, bro, why didn't I get 12 that time? Cause you're pushing yourself, Doug. <laughs> All right, we got 11. Close to failure, baby. Close to failure. This is actually going very well. I'm not going to jinx it, but yeah, let's get this set over with, and then it's on the lateral raises. I know a lot of you guys won't have this lateral raise machine that I'm about to use, but it's, it's fire. <laughs> One more. Yes, sir. We take these any day of the week. I'm about to show you that lateral raise machine real quick. Camera set up and everyone can see it. I went past my boundaries. This is embarrassing. I'm just kidding. I don't care. Backs don't care. Look at this lateral raise machine. Like, look at this. Like, you guys can't really see it, but it is like these little handles that you can grab. So we go a little bit higher rep range on these. We go like 15 to 20, just so you can really feel the burn on the shoulders. What I usually do for all my shoulder movements, I like to have a higher rep range. And we go a little bit lighter weight, but still, still training very intensely. <sighs> Seventeen. Not bad, not bad. We're feeling mad depleted right now, my boys. I already know what time it is. We're pulling out the crispy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We're taking off the pump cover. You get to see how small I am. New shirt check. New shirt check. Looking mighty small today. So this workout is going like exactly to plan. I'm increasing on everything. I'm feeling good. Bro, my acne is so bad. Bro, look at my forehead. Oh my goodness. Try to get 18 or 19, or 19, 19 or 20. Go, oh, let rap go, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's finish off chest, boys. This is gonna finish off, chest, finish off chest for me. Feel the squeeze, get a nice scoop. This'll blow out your upper chest. These haven't been really feeling good for me. I've been struggling to progress them. We'll see how these feel today. Ooh. Still, we got a one rep increase. These are killers for the chest. Look, it's getting worse throughout the session. <sighs> yeah, no. Yeah. 12 on that one. We got 13 last time, so we degressed. That's okay. I knew these things are going to give me a problem. They always do. I think I broke my nose. I have a huge nose. I might have ADHD, too. I think my girlfriend gave me ADHD. I don't know what I'm saying. Nah, yeah, I'm toast. All right, the workout's going downhill. I jinxed it. On the biceps. I usually feel like I'm gonna tear my bicep on these, so let's pray right now. Yeah, biceps, feel the squeeze. Make sure you're getting the bicep contraction. Yeah, you have small biceps like me. Come on, come on. Bro, biceps literally make me want to pass out. I look like a dope. I literally look like a dope. It's okay though, because I'm back, right? You're just, you're so ripped. You're so, I don't know, 
I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going crazy. I'm literally going crazy. What are we doing? We're doing 110. I'm one strong specimen. Every single movement is intensity. If you want a muscle to grow, you need to train close to failure. None of these sets, I'm not like going to complete failure, but like my last set, my last rep was to be hard. If I could literally go to the gym with all of you guys right now, like all of us in one group, yo, that'd be, that'd be so lit. I'm gonna create my own gym called the Bozo Gym. We're all gonna work out. We're all gonna work out together. Let me do my set. Shut up, back there. <sighs> <laughs> yep, I just tore my bicep. Dude, I can't explain this to you even better. I'm literally in the middle of a gym with a camera pointing at me. Maybe I'm just a schizophrenic. Maybe there's no one around me. Maybe I'm literally going crazy. Maybe you guys aren't even real. Maybe I'm literally just making videos for zero people, but I like imagine in my head that there's like people watching me. I don't know. Just schizophrenic thoughts, you know? Bro, what am I saying? I literally sound like a goofball, bro. I'm literally gonna think I'm like insane going back editing this video. Once again, I'm talking to editing backs. You, right now. You better cut all this out that I'm saying. If you put this in, I'm gonna look like a goofball. I'm looking like a schizophrenic. I'm feeling like a schizophrenic. This all black fit is making me act up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All the grandmas are looking at me right now. Every single grandma in here is looking at me right now. When I was like lean before, my veins like popped out, like obviously. Yo, once I have muscle mass on my body, bro, like I can see veins poking through that I didn't see when I was lean. I'm already feeling fat, bro. And I'm six months in. I have another year. You can't be scared to put on a little bit of body fat. You can't be scared to get a little bit fluffy just for the growth. You have to get fluffy to look good when you're not fluffy. Folks, by Baxter. Now let's do my last set. If I tear my bicep right now, just know I love you guys and I won't be posting ever again. <sighs> Yo, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I need to stop that, bro. We're in enough of hammer curls, now we're out of here. Bro, I need to get out of here before it starts getting worse. We're just doing hammer curls with the rope. Regular curls like this, hammer curls like this. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this today. Oh yeah, the walls are closing in, the fog is coming. Bro, I'm gonna get reported to the police for this video. I'm about to get sent to an insane asylum. I need, oh, what's the thumbnail gonna be? What should my clickbait thumbnail be for today? The title of this video is gonna be like, what it looks like for a schizophrenic to be in the gym. You guys get a sneak peek at the title. Well, not really. You'll see the title when, I'm such an idiot, bro. <sighs> oh my. Yep, 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 bro. Oh, I almost passed out. I almost passed out. Get me out of here. Now the best part, the posing room. Schizophrenia gym. That was actually a decent session. I really thought that was about to be horrendous. I'm actually so hyped that I actually got that footage. I really thought I was about to be too scared to record in the gym. Pre-workout jitters. I'm jittering the camera. We're gonna head home. We're probably gonna have a post-workout meal. We're gonna get home. We're gonna shower. And then I have a little surprise for you guys. I have a little surprise announcement for the people that haven't heard about it yet. Let's get home, baby. Ooh. Ooh, we back. We took a shower. Yo, fellas, I told you I had an announcement for you. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. As of the beginning of this week, I am a Gymshark athlete. I, I, I know. I couldn't believe it either. I'm just kidding. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a bozo. I am now an Anaka Power athlete. Literally, like literally. If you guys don't know, they're a gym, a gym apparel brand. They make a bunch of gym clothes. They make some lifestyle clothes, gym gear, like lifting belts, lifting straps, lifting, lifting, lifting wrist wraps, hats, stuff like that. Like everything, everything for the gym and some lifestyle stuff. I've been repping their clothes. You guys can look. You guys can literally look through my TikTok. I've been wearing Anaka Power every single single video for the past five, six months. Ever since I got my Anaka wardrobe, ever since I started buying tons of their clothes. Recently just got picked up by them. Uh, I now have a code, uh, code BAX, saves you 10% on your Anaka Power orders. That, it actually means so much to me. Not only because I'm like an Anaka Power athlete now, but just how much the brand means to me. Because when I was first starting, you guys probably know, but Jack Italian was a was a big part of uh, me starting my fitness journey and actually posting fitness content and getting into the whole shebang. He's obviously with Anaka, and that's how I heard about Anaka at first. From there, I've been just, I've been I've been like addicted. Like I, I bought some of the clothes and I'm like, wow, this stuff is actually like fire. Like this, <laughs> this stuff looks fire. It feels fire. Like, I don't know. So I just started, I just started repping them. And then Ant reached out to me. He's like, yo bro, you're getting a code. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wow. I, I'm going to, I'm going to say this right now. Like without all of the support that I have, without all of you guys watching my videos, like none of this would happen. Like none, none of this. I would, I, I I literally used to talk about this like with my girlfriend like when I first started posting I'm like bro I always used to say like you think you think I can you think I can get get a code with Anaka you think I could and I was like it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen but look we're here and I don't know I don't I still don't know how it happened I'm still mind blown that's a, it, it means a lot to me I couldn't be more thankful I couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity I couldn't be more thankful for you guys that support me because none of this would happen yeah so that was the big announcement that was the big announcement hopefully the audio wasn't too bad in the gym I'm once again I'm so scared to go back and edit this the last mic'd up was fine hopefully 
hopefully this one goes goes well too i actually got some decent angles and footage in there better than the leg day yeah fellas hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully i gave you some valuable information in the gym as well maybe you guys learned some things in the gym when i was spitting and when i was having a schizophrenia attack once again if you guys want to support me code backs for helimix and your uh anaka power orders i hopefully you guys enjoyed this one too because i love doing these tell me if you guys enjoyed this type of video i'm gonna get to editing this literally right now like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one and i'll i'll glute spread in the next video don't worry